What's going on, people? Getting ready to get started in just a minute. I was trying to do something slick and it didn't work out. I was going to try to do a Google Hangouts on air and this at the same time. And for some reason, <laughs> I can't log on. Too funny. We're gonna we're gonna let we're gonna let Isaac walk on by, and let's see. All right, showing the screen. Just making sure I do some stuff. Let's see. Let's go down here. All right, cool. <clears throat> All right, we are uh, getting ready to rock and roll. Let's see. If you have a question while I'm going through this, you can ask. Just answer it, and when I come out of the presentation, I will answer it. Okay. <laughs> Too funny. Well, it left this up. This is a uh, hold on a second. This gets to be real freaking interesting. Last time I did that, it uh. Yeah, we'll put that right there. And I'll bring that out. Okay. That works, that works, it works. Uh, I guess we'll start at the beginning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for everybody coming out on this wonderful Thursday evening, afternoon. It's great where I'm at. It's like 84 degrees. I think we're going to have a very cold winter. Because summer wasn't that bad. Actually, summer was very pleasant. But with that, let's talk about the future of hustling. Someone put in uh, Hustlers University, if you're not a member, be sure to join, it's free, about, you know, no humans are needed. I've been talking about this for the last five years. Where we are heading is a strange, strange place. And uh, I will give you some of the tools and tips that help me because many of you are where I where I used to be. I mean, straight up, I was ass out. Lost my job. Very, you know, I had a skill set, but I couldn't use it due to some foolish decisions on my part. Very, very bad place economically. And I really thought about that because uh, one of my friends said, you know, you, you've forgotten about your boarding house days. And I, I actually had to disagree. I've forgotten about the neighborhood, but... That still drives me for a very important reason. I know that I could end up in that boarding house <laughs> again if I don't make the proper decisions. And one of the biggest decisions is lifestyle. Maintaining a lifestyle that you can live within. That is one of the biggest keys to building your business and hustling. And many people go ahead and have a lifestyle that is bigger and beyond their budget. And they wonder why they're miserable. But for the future of hustling, I want you to hear me. I want you to hear me. Hear me, hear me, hear me. It is going to be mandatory that many of you learn how to run a business. Mandatory. It's, it's just it's, it's that's what's happening, because if you look at what's going on with jobs. They're being automated, outsourced, but going back with the kiosk, someone that posted McDonald's is working on this humanless kiosk to take orders. And it's going to be very, very real. It's going to be very real. So technology is creating a situation that is taking humanity out of simple to do task, boring task, dangerous task. And it's coming. And I, I mean, seriously, I mean, 20 years or less, no one's are, no humans are going to go into a mine. So it's going to be fully automated. So on the one side, that's great. But on the other side, it's going to decimate the income in certain towns because the humans are not going to be needed. You will have to hustle in the future. You will have to. There is no mistakes about it because the student loan debacle are, well, I shouldn't say the student loan debacle. I should say the degree myth debacle because that's what generated it is leaving many people disenfranchised and straight up worried and actually in a worse position than people who do not have a degree. 
There's a stat that people with college degrees have a greater employment rate than folks who do not. True. That stat is true. But if you lift the stat up, you lift the hem and the dress of the stat and look at the legs, you'll see that many of those college graduates are occupying jobs that formerly were held by high school graduates. They just it's a lateral shift. It wasn't an upward mobility. So it's not really nothing to brag about because, OK, you have a college degree. You have seventy thousand dollars in student loan debt and you're making eight fifty an hour. That is not a ooh wee moment. And it's happening more and more and more across the country. Now, uh, with me and the things that I'm doing, the boarding house experience taught me how to transition from thing to thing. Because many of my friends in the late 90s, 2000s thought I was insane. It's like, you don't stick with anything. You don't stick with anything. I had a main goal of freedom and economic uh, prosperity. That never changed. But the vehicles that I rode to those ends often did and they didn't understand that but another thing <clears throat> excuse me i prepared myself for the emerging world which is learn a skill use it exploit it okay when that skill becomes obsolete learn a new skill and unlearn what you learned because you may have to completely forget about all of that stuff that you learned to do the new thing that is what all of that churn and chaos taught me how to do. And that's one of the things I'm going to teach you how to do. Essentially, you will have to be a catalyst of change going forward in the future. There, there is no, well, we don't want to do that. No, you, you will have to, to, to not only survive, but to thrive. This is a big, big problem. And I see it frequently with many of my... I would say people in the G-verse, you're, you're a corporation, you're an entity, you have talent, you have abilities. Uh, I will give you a great example. I was talking to a friend who has a, about 25 years of legal experience, very high profile legal experience. They were struggling financially because they had completely disregarded the legal experience to do something radically different. In the end, they, they really came across some hard times. Well, I sat down with them, talked with them and said, look, you know, you, you have something that people want. And he was like, no, 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 no. Well, got together, put them together a workshop. Dude made $7,000 the first week. He was struggling. He was struggling. I mean, just was in a really nasty financial state. And he was just like, gee, I mean, you can ball out on your skill sets, but because your skill set may not be appreciated by you, your family, or you don't think so highly of yourself. Because another thing that we have is if you go ahead and say, you know what, I'm really good at doing this. People, you're arrogant. You're arrogant. You shouldn't say that because you're arrogant. Stop being so arrogant. Be humble. And that creates this disconnect where people don't push themselves or say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good because many people like humble because it means that they don't have to really realize how mediocre they are. It's sad, but true. You should be humble. You shouldn't be arrogant. Arrogance only for pet and all of this other nasty stuff. But. In developing yourself, and developing your tablet, your, your talents, you have the ability to live the life that you want, but you have to appreciate your talents. I have another consultant client, and he said it several times, thank you for making me appreciate my business, because making money is simple. You create a product or service that people want. That part is simple. When you bring in humans, then it becomes extremely complicated. And that's the complicated part. It's the human element that's complicated. It's not the process. It's not the, it's the human element. And once you learn how that to do that, then you will never have to worry about money again. But you are concerned. You are an entity. You are intellectual property. You're a talent. There is something or you may have more than one talent. You may have two, three or four talents. But there is something in you that is marketable. 
that you can make money. Now, let's talk to the young people because um, I'm trying to hire a personal assistant and I'm having trouble because I'm meeting folks who don't have skill sets or there are people who have two degrees and $5,000 a month worth of um, obligations and they're thinking, well, because I have obligations, you should pay me 5000 Well, the job pays 10 bucks an hour regardless of your qualification and obligations. And that's another issue. The only people that are really going to pay you what you worth is your people. I say you and your. I kind of stress the word out. You and your people. You will pay yourself what you're worth. And your people, people who know you, people who appreciate you, will pay you what you're worth. But walking into a, a job situation with that attitude is a recipe for disaster unless you just have some extremely marketable or very unique skills. Back in the day, I knew a respiratory therapist who, and this was when respiratory therapists were really in high demand, who cussed out his supervisor and said, I'll finish up my shift because you're short. But after this, I am out of this bitch. Do you know the next day he went to work at his new job? He got on the phone. He called some of his friends. He says, yes, I'm quitting here tonight. Before he left his shift, a shift supervisor from another uh, hospital called him, asked him about his qualifications. The next day he went over, turned in his paperwork, and he worked that next day. <laughs> when you got it like that, yeah, you can be a fool because he was a fool and he did it. But the marketplace allowed him to play that. But until you develop those skills, it's not going to work. Now, this is the thing that many people will debate me on, fight me on. Tell me I'm crazy. If you're fit to eat, you're fit to start your own business. If you know the history of this country, America, when people can, everyone was virtually self-employed. You had to build your own, but no, but it was self-employed, but they were extremely self-reliant. They had to build their own house, make their own clothes, grow their own food, dig the well, tend to the cattle so this notion of hey you know because uh i don't want to work that hard i can't no you can run a business it is a skill set that can be learned it is not oh i was born with these business bones that is a fantasy that we like to tell ourselves it's like oh there are some people who are just natural born leadership abilities and natural born talent let that shit go you can get to the same place. I'm going to give you a name that some of you sports fans are going to remember. Bobby Hurley. Bobby Hurley was not athletically blessed. But when he was playing for Duke, he was probably the best point guard in the freaking country. How did he get there? He worked his ass off. I think it was misfortunate that he was uh, in that accident because I think he would have been a Hall of Famer. But he worked his ass off. Here was someone who was surrounded by nothing but extreme biological DNA bred talent. I mean, people who could like walk up to you and flick, twitch their toes and do a 48 inch vertical. He was surrounded by that stuff in in a double a division one basketball. And not only did he perform, he performed at a high level because he did not buy into that. I'm not black. Therefore, I can't play basketball. I'm not the tallest guy on the court. He didn't buy into that. He said, you know what? I have some deficiencies. I'm not that tall, so I have to be smarter. Uh, I'm not going to get that many shots based on my athletic ability. So whenever I do get a shot, I have to make it count. And they became a force to be reckoned with because of hard work and a process. Now, you can make the choice to hustle. It is better to make the choice to hustle than to have to hustle by force. And I'm going to break it down for you. Why? When you're doing it by force, it's a panic state and you're developing some nasty habits. Oh, the rent needs to be done. OK, so I need to go out here and hustle real hard for three or four days. OK, ah, rent's paid. I'm tired. I was hustling for 72 hours. So you develop some very bad tendencies that the only time you become extremely motivated to hustle is when a crisis occurs. 
That's not a good place to be. When you hustle by choice, there is no crisis. There's an internal compass saying, I need to go out here and make this stuff happen. And going back to the hustle by choice of force dynamic. There are people who are listening to this right now who have a job and your job is great. Two years from now or less, you're not going to have that job. And it's not me saying, oh, you know, I hate you. I want you to get fired. Mm -mm. No, something's going to happen where your company's not going to need you and they're going to say, see you. And then some of you are going to get that call back. Hey, um, we actually downsized a little bit aggressively and we would like for you to come back as a 1099 employee. As a 1099 as a contractor. Now, for those of you who are really, really slick, you will go ahead and begin. You know, I'm going to talk about this in the Hustlers University, but you'll just begin developing an LLC, partnerships, and corporations. Because once you do that, you change the ball game. You can still go back for your company and work for them, but they will not be sending you a 1099 because corporations don't get 1099s. You would be doing corp to corp. Totally different, more tax breaks, and it's just a better way to go. Plus, you can build something for your kids. When you start, because this is happening. This is happening. This is not conjecture or some wild fantasy that I have. This is happening with a great deal of regularity and certainty. It's, it's coming. So another thing about making the decision to hustle by choice is you start earlier because this is what I'm going to say. Whether you use any of my stuff or you use someone else's, get started building your business this weekend. If you don't have one already this weekend. And if you have a job, I want you to work harder about starting your business because you have a safety net to experiment, to fail, to learn from your mistakes. You should be working just as hard for you, if not harder than you do on your job, because this thing is coming. And, you know, people think I'm crazy. 2011, I did the degree myth video. I had people on my Facebook page call me an idiot. One of those people, <clears throat> they called me an idiot, got laid off and I found out about it. And I found out that this person wasn't living the life that they said they were living. They were a facade. They were in more trouble than you could imagine, but was going to fight me about something that they knew intimately to be true. You have to understand. When I did that video, I did it because anger and a great deal of distaste because I used to believe that lie myself. And in the boarding house, in the heat of well, in the heat of a summer night, I figured it out. And when I mapped out the stuff and I looked at the numbers and I was going to go into finance, I was going to be a stockbroker. Yeah, I was going to try to get on Wall Street. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. That's what I was going to go back to school for. Uh, the original plan when I was in high school was to go to Boston University because I did my research and I knew that a lot of people coming out of Boston University were getting into Wall Street because of the direct connections. That's what I was going to do. Thank the universe of all universes that I did not make that decision or I would be screwed right now in a major way. And another thing, your journey is not going to be easy. I'm not going to say, oh, it's going to be easy. Oh, it's going to be simple. No, it's going to be hard. But can you imagine if you start now and then when you get that Hey, Bill, can I talk to you for a minute? And you go to the conference room and there's your boss and some person you never saw and a bunch of folders on the table. And they're saying, um, well, here's your package. Instead of panicking, if you take action now, you can sit back and smile and say, OK, I'm about to get some money while I got my business. Oh, OK, I'm just going to take this time. Well, since I'm not working, I'm just going to grow my business. And the reason I'm saying that is I've had several people who were in my uh, resale mastermind group, got laid off, some happened, and they said those very words. They said those very words that, hey, thank you for urging me to get started. I've been hustling on the side for two years, 
and I got laid off today. And I'm not even worried. I am not worried because my hustling income is half of my job income. And all I got to do is tweak it. And since I'm not working, I can just hustle full time. And I've had several people who started hustling early before the doom, before the cataclysmic event that when it happened, they had a foundation to operate on. This was none of this. Hey, Glendon, I just lost my job and, uh, you know, I need to make $6,000. So what can I do in 60 days or 90 days to get to that level? And hey, yeah, could you help me out for free? <laughs> That is a, that's crazy talk. That is crazy talk. And so what I'm urging you to do is to really get started now. Don't wait. Uh, I want you to start a business and fail. Start a business. It doesn't work out for three months. Okay. You've got a lot of experience from that. You could take it to the next business. My first five businesses were turkeys. Gobble, gobble. They failed. But each successful launch because you know let's look at it. there was success i started it i named it each time i failed i learned so much that the sixth business i made money my first month and you can do that too it's not about how smart you are or connected there's two things making a decision and discipline if you can do those two things consistently you will be so far ahead of the pack and this is something else the pack if you make the choice to start hustling now, building your business, being an entrepreneur now, when the herd is out there in the streets, you'll be already set up. There's this movie. I only watched half of it. Uh, it was about Goodbye World. Essentially, someone that infected the the uh, computer networks with this virus and it shut everything down. You know, shut cell phone down, computer networks. And this guy <clears throat> who was a... He was a tree hugger, had this compound with solar power, a well, growing food, and all of his friends came up there from this thing, and they were living and drinking wine. I haven't watched all of it, but when you take advantage of the good times to prepare for the bad times, you're just going to be where, much better off than your compatriots. You just are. And I looked at that because it's so funny. Because the thing is, if I ever get to that point of uh, buying a house and doing that stuff, that was kind of my plan, except for the compost and organic stuff. I was going to get solar panels, and I looked it up. It's about 60 Gs, but you, you can get enough panels that will run a, a very large house. You know, have your own little solar farm out there and actually get paid for an electric company. Because I feel that we're going to have two classes. Those who are hustling, those who are protected, nepotism, uh, build the burgers, all this other stuff that's going to come into play. But by acting right now and doing certain things, you'll be able to move into that class where you'll become someone that does something in society, therefore need it versus someone who's consuming off of society and not need it. Uh, I can't think of his name, but he is the creator of The Wire. He wrote it. I think it's David Simon, I believe. He said something in an interview and it was no malicious. It's like we have a society where we're creating people that we don't need. Many people are like, oh, he's racist. Oh, no, no. The truth of the matter is we have many people out there who are not producing and contributing to society. Our poor people live better than hardworking people in other parts of the world. And how long before that starts to erode? It's not working in France anymore. Greece is bankrupt. Let's see what European countries are doing fine economically germany oh wow they produce stuff switzerland oh wow they make stuff and they have a uh, certain attributes for the world uh if you look at it all of the european countries that are doing well actually produce and make stuff you become wealthy by producing something it's not about how much money you make it's about what you produce uh, i was telling a friend Actually, a consult client day on the phone about a guy here in Georgia. Can't think of his last name. His first name's David, oddly enough. He and his friend started this company when they were 21. They couldn't find jobs, and it was something with accounting software. They sold the company at 26. From 21 to 26, he was building the company. Several million dollars. He was retired at 26 because he created the company. Now, this was in the 80s, 90s. This guy became an angel investor. I want you to think about that. 
in the time before all of this computers, the internet, Kickstarter, this person created a, a, a successful company in five years cashed out. Cashed out in five years. And he became an angel investor. And he, you know, he has a portfolio. And he says the piece that he bit off for investing is what contributes the most to his portfolio. The rest of it is managed in a balanced manner. So this thing of starting a business, hustling, is more than just about money. Because you can go ahead and let's just say this thing that I think is coming. My in my head, I'm thinking we're going to hit it real hard in five years, maybe seven. You might be able to build a fortune, and when I say a fortune, get your house paid off, cars paid off, money in the bank. That's a fortune for many people. For 95 percent of the people in the world, that's a fortune. So go ahead and get yourself situated before it hits, and you can sit back and just watch the carnage. I know that sounds very, you know, ugly, like, you know, we should all go out and help people. But I, I will tell you some secrets here that I've never, uh, ever said before. Like I said, this is the most explosive uh, video uh, webinar I've ever done. There are several people that I've given free scholarships to all of my products and I've tracked them. Now, take a grand guess of the people who got the stuff for free, what they did with it. I'll even play the Jeopardy music. Doom, 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 doom. Do, 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 do. What's your final answer? Six people. Six out of about 88. Six. <laughs> Not even the full percentage point. Six. <laughs> I was so. And that's why when everyone's like, just put it out for free. I know better. I've done it. I just didn't tell anybody. I've been doing it for years. And six people have taken advantage. Now, how many people have taken advantage that have paid for it? Roughly 75%. Yes, even people who pay for it, there's 25% of people who don't take advantage of it. <laughs> so, with those numbers, based on my own and those experience, that's why, you know, I like when I hear this, like, oh, yeah. Because this is the thing. When um, you have to hustle, and I made a choice to start hustling when I bought Earl Nightingale's Lead to Fail. It was 115 bucks. It was the cassette tapes. I think I was making 200 bucks. I spent half of what I made in a week on some educational material. $115 back in 97 covered a lot of bills. That covered your light bill, your pager bill, because everybody didn't have a cell phone back then. That was a lot of dough back then. And that's what I'm saying. When you hustle by choice, you activate and you do things differently. Totally, totally differently. Because if you don't make a decision now, one will be made for you. Make it, I'm telling you, this is how bad this stuff's going to get. And when I say, do I see the world, you know, because there's many preppers like shit hits the fans. And I don't see that happening. I see uh, ghettos growing. I see more poor people. And I see a distinct delineation between the classes. You'll see people in neighborhoods like they have it and these people don't. We already have that. It's just going to be more pronounced. And it's going to be ugly for a lot of people. Now, this is why you have to start planting seeds today. The action you take today will determine your life in the future. Going back to what I just said about Earl Nightingale. Buying those tapes in 1997. And, you know, I listened to them, but I really didn't grasp the concepts for about a good 18 months before. Because I listened. And I was like, I mean, I was, I was sitting there in my little room in the, in the hood. Earl's full of shit. That shit's only for white people. I was saying that shit against the wall. It's like, oh, yeah, whatever. Then one day it just clicked because I was sitting there arguing with Earl and I wasn't putting any of the stuff into action. I was just like, this ain't going to work. This ain't going to work. Really, I was fighting against my inner, um, my inner loser. My inner loser, he was running around just saying, hey, uh, you know, we, we ain't about shit and was rejecting good advice. Saying crazy stuff, all in the name of keeping that shit going. Then one day I woke up and I started to do the stuff and I was amazed at how effective it was. But I had to clear my mind, regurgitate so much stuff that was taught to me as a kid to accept 
and embrace those new ideals. And this is with plan C's because uh, another thing I'll tell you, like I said, this is explosive. Uh, all summer, I have been playing with you guys. You have been my guinea pigs in the lab. All of the stuff I've been putting out, it's, it's been a test. It's been a test. I've been every week, test, test, test. There'll be more tests, but that was just a massive exploration into feedback that I was getting in Hustle University, YouTube comments, because people were saying, hey, this is what we want. And I came to find out that a lot of, there were some people who wanted it, but the masses did. You know, this whole thing is being built on what you really want, which is to escape the life that you have right now. And let's talk about that. It's not about the money. You need money to help you, but it's really about planting those seeds. If you are a single person and you're not married, you need to take a year and say this. I know it's going to sound crazy because this is what's going to happen. You say the next two years, I'm not getting married. I'm not even dating. I am planting seeds. I am hustling. Now, when you say those words and you mean it, one of the baddest people in the planet romantically will pop up in your life. <laughs> So it is crazy how that happens. But if they're good, they'll be around when you get to your destination. But plant these seeds because this is the thing that creates a problem for many people. We live in a society with vastly inflated expectations of when something should happen. Thanks to the Internet, starting a business because it used to be a good three to five years for a business would get to a point where it's profitable and paying the owner. Now, I can say with a great deal of uh, honesty and integrity that if you work your ass off with the right product, the right uh, group of people, you can get to there in a year. Seriously, you can get there in a year, which is amazingly fast. Uh, someone was telling me a story of this guy because there's a friend of mine. He's a coach. He had this guy who started doing these things. I don't share everyone's uh, stuff because everyone looks at everyone else's stuff for guidance versus just doing their own thing. He did his thing and uh, within a year, he was up to like $90,000 in income from scratch. From scratch within a year. And you're hearing more and more stories about that. And that's why if you really look at it from the standpoint that you can untether yourself from the job you hate, if you hate your job, there's some people who have jobs, they love their jobs. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people who hate their jobs and actually make more money, have more freedom. And initially, in the beginning, you will not have a lot of freedom. You will be busting for a good year to two years, busting. But think about this. Say right now you make 35, 40, 50 grand a year, right? Uh, you're not really happy with your position. There's really no opportunities for future economic growth. I mean, a 3% raise is 12, you know, that's, that's, that's nothing. You're still behind. So, you know, say let's go to the top end. You're making 50 and within three years, let's just say three years, you've created a business that pays you between 85 and 115,000 a year. You've changed your life in three years. And why did I say three years It's longer than a year, but it's shorter than the five years it takes the average person to graduate from college. Think about that. Three years, you can create a business that's making you more money than you're making now by starting the business, planting the seeds, and moving forward. That's why you need to start a business. I mean, just get started. There's so many people, uh, a friend of mine told me the other day, it's like, I watched your video and it just kind of clicked. Oh, get started. Get started. It's get started. I mean, you know, I get people like, hey, I need to incorporate. No, you don't. You need to get started. You need to pick something. And if it doesn't work out, okay, well, after it doesn't work out, take a sheet of paper, microphone, whatever you do to take notes. This didn't work out for the following reasons. Okay, so next time I do this, and immediately start something else. That's why if you have a job, it is not as detrimental for you to experiment. I mean, you could just go out there and go out there and experiment, and you can lose money, and you're still, I'm not going to say okay, because losing money is never okay, but you're in a better, better situation. Much, much better situation than you were ever in before. Totally, totally, totally different. 
because as long as you continue to hustle by force, you're going to be forced into some really nasty stuff. Now, let's just get into this whole thing. A business is not a corp. A business is a transaction. No transaction, no business. So until you do something that earns money, you do not have a business. So you can plan for six months. You can talk to your spiritual counselor. You can pontificate with your girlfriends or hang out and talk about this shit for the next five years. And you've that's all you've done. You've talked about it. This is a phenomenon that I see frequently. I have people who are trying to earn their first 10000 per month before they earn their first dollar. You have got to scale this thing up. And this is why getting started now is going to help you because you got to earn that first dollar. Because once you're in the first dollar, then you can earn the next, the first five, and then the first 10, then the first 20, then the first 30. But to go from zero to 10 G's is an act that most people cannot pull off. Uh, I, I tell people, and this is another thing, get to 500 bucks a month from your side hustle. Okay, you got 500. Okay, it's like, all right, I'm at 500. What did I do to get to 500? Okay, if I do this and this, I can get to 750. I mean, I'm just telling you, and that's the reason I did 30 days to 2,500. The average person, if they can create a side hustle that generates $2,500 a month gross, that is going to be close to, if not more than what they bring home from their job. Or, yeah, in some cases, it'll be more. A friend of mine is a recruiter. He looks at W, not W2s, he looks at uh, resumes and applications all day. And he just told me, he said, most people are poor. He's like, it's amazing. He's like, these folks make a $7 an hour, $8. And he said, folks who are 30 some, 40 some years old. So if you're making like minimum you know, like 10 bucks an hour, that's only 1600 bucks a month. If you get a full 40, because you can be working 32 hours and that's still considered full time. And you, you're, but you're not getting that, <laughs> that, uh, that extra money. You're not getting, well, not extra money. You're not earning that extra money. So you really have to look at this and adjust your expectations accordingly because one of the things you got to do is get started and have a plan you have to have a plan all of this i'm just going to do shit and see how it shakes out you can do that sometimes it works out most of the time it doesn't and and really start focusing on earning some money and then once you earn that money reevaluate and like okay what did i do to earn this because we live in some very exciting times, extremely exciting times that you can change your life in a year. You literally can now. I wouldn't say that when I first came on YouTube because I was still from old school economy. And now that I have five years plus in the new school economy, well, a little more than that if you want to count eBay and Amazon. But doing this thing is very, very possible to really do well in a year but you will have some sacrifices you may not go out as much as you want to you may not go out to dinner that year you may not watch tv you know that's the the price of success so you've got those things going on and it's just something to think about so before we uh go any further I am going to come out and see what the people are talking about and answer a few questions. Cameron Pace, smooth. Yes, Isaac is smooth. <laughs> Tony's got webinar tickets. Jacob's ready to roll. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jacob, yes. The, I, I, I didn't really get into it. I canceled everyone that bought the hustler coaching and refunded their money because I'm going to do something totally different with that. So it wasn't you, it was me. Uh, question from Jacob. Do you transcribe your YouTube videos? Do you feel that paying for transcription is worth it for improving channel growth? Loaded question. Transcription definitely works with increasing your searchability for your video. No, hands down. It, it definitely works. 
if you do a real short video, it might be worth it. But my videos, I would be paying 150 to maybe $300 to get them transcribed per each. So, you know, if I did 10 videos a month, we're looking at about three to four grand. I didn't think that was worth it. I really didn't. So I think in the future that's going to get cheaper. But right now is something that you have to play around with. But it definitely works because there are people I know who have their videos transcribed. And you might be able to find someone in Pakistan who can do it for you super cheap because I know one guy who did it. Uh, actually, I can tell you his name is uh, Ant Antonio Citrino. He is a real man, real style. He had his, I mean, it blew up his channel. It blew up his channel. But Anthony's a very smart guy. Well, Antonio's a very smart guy. And he had a plan. Also, he's everywhere. But I know for a fact he transcribed his uh, videos and they, they have amazing reach. But are you willing to spend that money? Uh, Jacob, what do you think of video distribution software programs like Two Mogul, Traffic Geyser? I'm thinking of creating an account for each outlet, blasting videos to every account, then focus on the top three to four. Uh, I used them. I didn't like them. They've made and that was three years ago. See this. This is the thing with uh, distribution. Content is king, but context rules the kingdom. So your video getting distributed. Without the right context, they're still not going to watch it. There's still going to be an issue with that. So you got to think about that. Uh, Sundep, I uh, was interrupted for a bit. What were you saying about slick corporations and LLC? Uh, essentially, you can incorporate your business and if you work for another company like many contractors could actually start their own llc and get paid corp to corp versus doing the 1099 that's all i was talking about <laughs> people that love their jobs have careers uh david great stuff as always you're doing experiments with your products how are you managing going over this data in the mailing list controls or more mailing list um facebook that's a facebook i'm just doing because a lot of people like it but i everything i'm getting from i'm getting it from my my email client uh michelle my oldest says that youtube will auto transcribe what it thinks you're saying have you heard oh yeah definitely it does and it gets stuff wrong see when you transcribe your videos that becomes searchable by Google. So you, you want to make sure that it's 100% correct because if it is, then word phrases and stuff will pop up in Google search. So that's the problem. And that's what that's one of the things I alluded to. Once they get that fixed, and I think they will, then you won't have to pay someone to do it. Cameron, so Hustle University would be a legit college. I'm not going to say all of that. Uh, I'm going to say... Hustler University will be effective. Uh, Tony, so the cancellation took down the confidence course also. No, I'm going to move those people over to Hustler University. Jacob, at what point did you begin putting ads on your videos? I could not put ads on my videos until late 2011. I didn't put it. I mean, I got the offer to monetize a few videos. And then a few months later, I became a partner. 2012. See, this, this is one of the things. Everyone couldn't monetize their videos. <laughs> and when they went ahead and let everyone into the uh, the, the playground, then it um, diluted the pool significantly. So cool, 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 cool. All right. We've got that. We've got that. So here's what's happening. And I'm going to open that back up. You'll get an email, so don't worry about this. But um, I decided since Hustle University is going to be close to legit that I'm going to offer charter memberships. Now, everyone that is a current member of Hustlers, you know, of the Hustler Mindset Project, you're coming in. You don't have to worry about it. I'll set you up once I set this up because all this stuff kicks off Monday. 
but if you're new and you want to get in, then I got a few things for you. So just to tell you what's going to happen, and this is from the experiment. Y'all didn't know where I was going with this because one of the things I learned from 30 days to 2,500 was some people got lost. And for people who are not really disciplined or good working on their own, it created a problem. So this new thing is going to be guided. Plus, I'm going to give you the breakdown. The power of six is to help you learn how to organize yourself. Very, very important. The confidence course. So you have the confidence to go out and do stuff. Making a living without a job. That's going to be the philosophy. Hustler economics. That's going to be the math. I'm going to break down some concepts that I did. And also the new and improved 30 days to $2,500. That's going to be the whole curriculum of that course. And there's going to be much more. And when I say, uh, I'm going to actually give people two choices here. You can go ahead and sign up this weekend for the old 30 days to 2500 and I'll just move you over and or you can do the charter membership and that puts you in for the other stuff that's coming in Hustle University in 2015 there's going to be the <clears throat> excuse me the product creation course the publishing course because one of the reasons that I held that stuff back is I knew it was going to need more structure and I finally found a platform that's going to give me this structure because I was almost going to, I may still put them on Udemy, but I won't be there like I'll be on this other platform. And just to give you an example, it's going to be, you know, test. It's going to be, it's going to walk you through the course. You'll finish up one part and then you'll click a button and it'll take you to another part. So it's going to be far, far more structured, far more structured. So. I, like I said, after this uh, webinar, I'll go ahead and I will send you, you know, a link if you want to sign up and, you know, I'll be doing this for the next, the day is Thursday. I'll be doing this Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So, and for those of you who are interested already, I'm going to also include in the email a 35% off coupon. So you'll have that. And I'll send that out once that this is done sometime today. So that is that. And let's see if there's any more questions. And there are. <laughs> uh, Jacob, I've got 40 subscribers. I would not put ads on that channel until you are getting at least 100,000 views. Use your bandwidth to sell your stuff. Thanks, Catherine. Uh, to, 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 Tony payment plan, how it relates to people that have already bought some courses, everyone that bought, let me just say it again. The original 30 days to 2,500 is going to get this course It's already paid for. I'm going to send them a link. And that's one of the reasons that I've kind of moved people to certain places. So you're already in now. Let's say you bought the power of six, the confidence course. I'll make discounts off of it. You can just email me because Email me and let me know what you bought and then I'll come up with a price for you. But yes, I will definitely discount off that. Now, see, I started that stuff off of 10 bucks. <laughs> Everyone was like, oh, it's crazy. You know, I want to wait till it goes down to five. And see, this is one of the things that I'm talking about having a plan. Um, if I do payment plans, that's going to have to be custom because maybe three months. I might do three months. But if I do a payment plan, you don't get the 35% discount. So just to let you know. But that's what's going to go on. And I'm pretty excited because I'm, like I said, I'm looking for an assistant to actually be kind of a, you know, a counselor for people. Um, and it's proven to be challenging because I need someone local. But I will continue to hunt on. All right, see, this is the beauty. I'm going to put out. Try do, 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 do. If you hadn't noticed, I've done a lot of stuff this summer. Because I even have a new domain name. So that is the email address. That's the business address. I just sent it to everybody. So you now have that and you can do your own things. Also, 
Uh, I'm gonna move this and show you something. Now, <laughs> when I say there's a lot more that's coming, this is the stuff that's been on my board. Like this is my erotica stuff. That's why I covered it up because you don't need to see that. But there's just a lot of stuff that's gonna come to Hustler University. But you know, like I said, doing the making a living without a job. I haven't gotten to the Hustler formula. I hadn't got to the disrupt your life. Getting started. Hustle Nomics, that's going to be a course. How to sell, that's coming to course. Build a trap. That's uh, I'm not, how to find gold will not be a course. I decided I'm not doing that. Uh, the middle pimping, hustle sweat profit, build your own the all of this creating your own sandbox. All of that stuff is coming to Hustle University, and it's been on my board for like two years. And part of the problem is I didn't have the right vehicle. I uh, love Gumroad. Gumroad will become a repository for ebooks and audiobooks only. The courses will no longer be there. That's why anyone who's already there, I'm going to just transition them over to Hustle University. And, you know, the like the first course is going to be, like I said, 30 days to 2500. Because I'm, I'm going to Monday, I'm going to redo it because of the new format. It would be uh, awkward and not as good for you to just transition those videos over. So I'm going to actually start 30 days to 2500 all over again with the new information. That's why you know, I was telling people, you better get in. I don't know how many times I said this summer when it was cheap, get in, get in. People are like, whatever, Glenn. Because like I said, I've been working on this all year. I mean, literally, I've been working on this all year. And it's just like, how can I do this? Because um, another thing that I'm going to let you know about, there's a money back guarantee. Because let's say you come in at the full charter membership of 2500 the money back guarantee is if you do the work, if you don't make twenty five hundred in a year, you get your money back. I have no problem offering that guarantee because I had several people in the first one, the one that's not as good as the one that's coming, make twenty five hundred in a week. I had one guy make sixty thousand in a month. So the course works. I don't even worry about that. So yeah, you, you if you can't make your twenty five hundred back or whatever you pay in a year, you get it back. I mean, seriously, I, I am not even worried. So that's one of the things. Let's see. I have been working. Oh, Louis the Cell is here. My sister worked in the human resource department. She got laid off. Humans are no longer needed in that department. <laughs> uh, no, Tony. David, if you can't make twenty five hundred in a year, you don't belong in the G verse. That, what I'm, I want you to think about this. Um, I haven't asked him, so I'm not going to mention his name. But the guy that did sixty, I'm going to try to get him to teach a course because he knows, you know, I mean, if I can, I don't know, so I can't put his name out there and what he does. But that's another thing that's going to come to Hustle University. People that I know who have done stuff, I can bring them in and they can teach courses. So this is going to be real interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that too, Cameron. I, I really am because let, let's just really go on this. If you can come to Hustle University and spend 2,500 bucks, and there's other packages, but you know, I, I feel that everyone is at the. I'll send out the list on the major email. But if you can come to Hustle University and spend 2,500 bucks, and let's just say over a course of a year. From the information you get out of Hustle University, you're making an extra thousand dollars a month. We're not even going to go hundreds of thousands or even ten. That's twelve G's. So if you make twelve thousand your first year, you're ninety five hundred up. That is an incredible return. That's incredible ROI. People are not doing that in the stock market. Not even close. If someone could do that in the stock market, everybody in the world would bow down to that person. So, and there's like I said, a lot of stuff that's coming and. The publishing course is going to be dope because that's another reason I held off because I'm going to need some more help with that. And I've got people I've actually been waiting for people to kind of get into place. But, yeah, the first thing that's going to happen this year is the 30 days. And then I'm going to start putting other stuff in. And, you know, if you get the charter membership, you get everything. And that's it. And there's um, there's a few people because I know. Yeah. I gotta email them, but that's gonna be the deal. So if there are no more questions, um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this puppy down, get those emails out, 
and then like I said oh just before I go I am uh, there's no crazy time limit on the 2500 but everyone that buys in the next 72 hours of this weekend you know I'll extend the 35% discount because that discount is going to disappear at that point and that'll come out in the email that you're going to get and also if you want to watch this again once this is over <laughs> I'm recording it I got it recorded I'm going to go ahead and throw this up on YouTube since I couldn't do the live webinar but I want to say thanks to everyone coming out really appreciate it and I'll see you on the good side